Steve Schmidt, I, I caught an article yesterday, the, the gist of which is that American passports are useless right now. Uh, let's ignore for the moment that the pandemic has made travel uh, uh, unreachable, impossible, and unpalatable for most people. But if you wanted to, if you had the means or perhaps the urgency, a mission to travel the world, we are allowed as Americans into Turkey, Tanzania, and Mexico. Europe is cut off for us. We can't drive north into the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. We have become pariahs because of our spike. All of those countries share something in common, the ones that want to keep Americans out, and that's they're governed by responsible leaders by and large. And of course, you can't allow Americans into the country right now because of the coronavirus threat. There's a sign that has taken off in London, apparently, that's all over the sidewalks, and it says Americans must be accompanied by an adult. We are a national laughing stock. The president <laughs> is a national laughing stock. But when you ponder that the richest and militarily most powerful country in the world, the country with the world's leading research universities, the most advanced math and science country in the world, that we have been brought low by conspiracy theorists on a cable news network, by talk radio hosts, by internet trolls, by a, by a president who refuses to read, to do his homework, refuses to listen to the medical experts who only cares about himself, not the American people, cares only about his reelection. You know, the American people have been gaslighted, lied to, and we got 30, 35 percent of the country that's decided to join a cult of personality. When you look at that Tulsa rally and you see those people there, and I wish these people no ill. I, I, I want them to be successful and happy and for their families to be safe. But I don't want to be ruled under them and the foolishness of the mindless cheering for someone as they describe their walk down the narrow and uh, shallow West Point ramp or their talented drinking water uh, with two hands. It's just it's just madness. And 111 days from now, the American people are the last line of defense for the country. I mean, this is, as George Will pointed out, I think, in an important column in The Washington Post. This is what national decline looks like. This is what a spin to the ground looks like. We are out of control as a country. There was a real lack of imagination on the part of the American people four years ago about the capacity for someone like Donald Trump to cause real tragedy. Uh, we should all be woken up now. We should be paying attention. And this man must be defeated if there's to be any chance to come out of this. Otherwise, the country will be in an irreversible decline. The America that was will, will be no more. We'll be a rich country. We'll be a powerful country militarily, but we won't be the preeminent country in the world anymore. And that will be the singular result of Donald Trump being the 45th president of the United States. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.